Okay, today we're going to talk about the asset store. Um, you look right here, you have a tab right here, it's called asset store. All right, and you can scroll up and down um, and download assets. Uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there. Uh, one of the first things I like to tell people, um, you got to spend money to make money. Um, everybody wants free and you get what you pay for. So one thing you need to remember is that as you make a game that you actually are serious about, you're probably going to want to spend money on assets um, uh, ranging from scripts all the way to um, audio, um, obviously models and characters and backgrounds and, and uh, you know environments and stuff like that. But even audio and music and, and things of that nature will help you a lot make your game really well but to get started you don't need to spend any money there's a lot of free assets and there's a few here that I want to um, point out the first thing um, it's hard to always view things inside of unity you're gonna want to download it and whatnot but <clears throat> if you go to right here open in browser if you go to open in browser it pulls this site and you can actually go to your browser and just search unity asset store but um, if you click on open in browser it takes you to, um, you know, a browser-based version of this. So, um, some things you can do here, uh, just normal searching. Uh, if you have a decent internet connection, I like to open it up all the way to as um, many as I can see. Um, popularity is really good. Uh, one thing that, uh, you know, obviously high to low and low to high um, to see what's out there. Recently updated, I think, is really, really good. Rating is okay. Uh, rating is not bad. Rating popularity, uh, I think popularity is better. But if you get a recently update, you're going to see assets that have just been recently um, fixed or added to or, or whatever. And I think it's good to take a look at that every once in a while to see what is there. Um, we're going to go back to popularity. Um, we're going to go ahead and scroll down here and limit it to free assets. We can see what we can download for free, and there's a few things. Um, I've already clicked on this, but there's a few things that I'm going to want you to download directly into um, Unity. Pretty much any anytime we do a project here, um, just to use what you need. But here are some things that I want you to do. Um, the first thing I want you to go ahead, and if you click on an asset, you're going to be able to read about it and understand what is going on here. You're going to be able to see examples, what you get. I think uh, the standard assets is something that you're going to want in every single um, project that you ever do. <clears throat> um, to walk you through the process, I haven't done this one. Free platform game assets is really good if you're doing a 2D uh, platformer, um, especially uh, if you're just beginning. Um, you'll notice add to my assets right here. When you do that, it's going to want you to connect and log in if you haven't logged in already. Um, so you're going to want to log in and uh, go to my assets and open in Unity. Um, so as soon as you add to it, you can look at it here. Uh, but one thing will change here is open in Unity. And when you click on that, it'll open, um, if you have Unity open, it'll open in Unity um, directly to this asset. And you'll see this changes from open to Unity to download. So in Unity now, I can click download. Uh, again, it's going to want me to sign in. All right, uh, chugging along. Let's see, let's try this again. Now that I'm logged, there we go. And it crushes. It cruises pretty fast. Click import to bring it into this project. Um, you'll you'll have that asset on your um, on your desktop or computer or whatever but you still have to import it into a specific project um, it's working on it and there you go um, it's gonna ask what you want to import um, for now I'm gonna you, you can limit that so that you don't have uh, a really inflated um, save size but uh, for this example I'm just gonna leave it at all and hit import Holding on while we're waiting. Okay, um, I do want to remind you that um, for this, uh, I want you to download and install free platform game assets by Bayou Games. 
I want you to download and install Unity Technology Standard Assets. Standard Assets is probably the most important one that you're going to do. And I also want you for our next um, activity, I want you to download and install uh, Unity Technologies Pro Builder 2.x free. Um, you may not get 2.x, depends on the version of Unity that you're using. Um, if it only shows you Pro Builder 1, just use Pro Builder 1 um, and that'll work too. So make sure you have all three of these in uh, downloaded, installed, and uh, imported into your project. So now that let's go back. Now that we're done, what I want you to notice is that in your assets under project in your assets, you now have Bay at Games. And if you open that, you can get all the way in here. You have your backgrounds right here. And if I go to my scene, I should be able to drag it right in. There we go. And now I have a 2D background. That it matches up, um, and, and that, I mean it's way too easy to use this. But right now, I just want you to understand how to use um, the asset store, download and install things, and make them work inside of your project or scene. All right, thanks for your time.